good evening let's go through the third module concepts the first one is the alternating current that is ac system electrical systems are uh, of two types basically dc system that is direct current system and ac system alternating current system in an ac system actually the voltage acting in the circuit changes its polarity at regular intervals of time and the current resulting due to such a voltage is known as alternating current so you have to go through two ideas alternating voltage and alternating current first one is alternating voltage to alternate means to change at regular intervals to alternate repeatedly a voltage which changes a voltage which changes its polarity its polarity that is a sign or the direction at regular intervals regular intervals of time is called ac voltage or alternating voltage that is similar to DC voltage. Here the difference is that a alternating voltage which changes its polarity or direction at regular intervals of time is called alternating voltage. And when an alternating voltage is applied, that is an alternating voltage V is applied to a circuit consisting of a closed circuit consisting of a resistor R shown. A current I will flow through the circuit and the current flow, this current flow in the, during the first half cycle, during the first half cycle, the current flows from the positive to negative in this direction. And after a certain time, the current changes from its polarity. Sinusoidal waveforms are mainly used because mainly the sine waveform produces least disturbance in the electrical circuit. Also, it can be easily analyzed using Fourier series. Also, mathematical computations of sinusoidal waveforms are simple. That are the main reasons for electrical engineers for using sinusoidal waveforms for alternating voltage and current. We can represent the equations for sinusoidal voltage and current. Instantaneous voltage V is represented by maximum value of sinusoidal voltage Vm into sin omega t where omega is the angular velocity of the coil omega is the angular velocity and vm is the maximum value value of ac voltage similarly we can represent instantaneous value of current i is equal to im sin omega t these expressions are for here also omega is a angular velocity city and im is the maximum value of value of current im is the maximum value of alternating current these expressions are valid for purely resistive circuits and for sinusoidal for inductive and other capacities are good the expressions may vary we can simply represent the expression for sinusoidal voltage as v is equal to v max into sin omega t where sin omega t determines the phase of the voltage at an instant this is all about alternating voltage and alternating current